Attention all units. Additional information on the bank robbery suspect. Two white males, both armed with assault rifles. We're behind that vehicle base. They're fleeing. Be advised, a police officer from another jurisdiction is deploying stop sticks. They just ran him over. The suspects killed the police officer. understand it. You may not understand them until you get out of here, but there is a reason behind why we do the things we do here. What I ask of you, if there's anybody in here that has any doubts, any doubts whatsoever about being here, about becoming a trooper, if you are not 100% committed, if you have doubts, there's the door right in. I don't want to say our expectations aren't high, but it's a lot of culture shock for the recruits, trying to get them out of that, um, kind of that nine to five civilian mindset into a, you're always on duty, you're always vigilant, uh, pay attention to small details. We aren't looking for leaps and bounds, but we're just looking for them to kind of have the little aha moment where they think, oh, my movements have to be sharp. Did your roommate check you this morning? No, ma'am. Why not? I don't have a roommate, ma'am. You don't have a roommate? No, ma'am. Mr. Bell does not have a roommate, so nobody bothers checking him. That is fantastic. If you don't want to conform to our rules, then goodbye. If you don't want to take the time to do what we ask, then you don't belong here. We will not accept triers this academy. We accept doers. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Start acting like a team. Start becoming a team. That is what I'm asking. That's what we demand, and that's what will happen. Am I clear? Yes, yes sir! One of my thoughts was, oh boy, <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. While I was in the Marines, I was trying to think of what my job there, because I like my job in the Marines, I like being in the Marines. Um, and I was trying to think of uh, a career that would kind of translate in the civilian world to um, being infantry and law enforcement was the only thing I could come up with. Because he's been in the military and I've seen him deploy, it wasn't as hard for me to let him go as it was to see him separate from his son. That was the hardest part for me because I know he's really attached to him and that was rough. My father was a former FBI agent. He's retired now and one of the things that I remember him telling me is that the state police was the finest police agency he'd ever worked with. And I just remember walking in these halls, you know, just the environment was, you know, just told me that's what I wanted to do. Shots fired. Shots fired. Two in custody. 